Hi folks, welcome to chapter 14 in the Tormach PCNC video series. Um, today we're going to talk about vices. This is one of my new Glassern uh, GPE 615 premium vices that I just picked up. Uh, frankly, it wasn't a hard decision to go with Glassern. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It might be uh, Glassern because uh, really two reasons. One, um, the customer service, and two, the quality. Both have gotten really high comments on some of the online forums on CNC Zone, Practical Machinist, Home Shop Machinist, etc. And, uh, and I think the results speak for themselves. Uh, coincidentally, there was a UPS uh, problem with a misdelivery, and Saul, or excuse me, Saul um, over at Glacern was more than helpful in accommodating, so I wanted to give them a shout out. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do, aside from just showing off the vice, is something they do in the uh, tech world is they have fun with the unboxings. So as you can see, this vice is already out there, but let's go ahead and take a look and unbox the second one. I got two identical vices. Glacier does a great job with their packaging, and uh, these suckers each weigh about 80 pounds, probably a few more with the shipping materials and as everybody knows UPS doesn't always love handling the heavy packages like that so uh, a shout out for the double boxing I'm about to show you that they do what's also amazing is um, this was a 80 some pound package delivered from I think Southern California to the Northeast for just a few bucks over fifty dollars which is a pretty good shipping rate so let me get some of these peanuts out of here and we'll take a look all right peanuts removed and as you can see Here's the uh, second box, and this is a pretty uh, heavy box, so let me let me get it out of there, and, uh, and then I'll start rolling again. Inspection record, which includes the tolerance specs, includes a nice little uh, letter, and then the last page is your uh, invoice. All right, let's rip it open. Oops. Vice handle. Some hardware. Let's see what's in here. We've got a set of clamp hold down clamps for the vise. If I recall though, these T nuts are actually slightly too big uh, for the Tormach table, but all they need to do is be milled down so they fit through the slot. I think the height's okay. A set of um, instead of using the hold down clamps on the side periphery of the mill uh, the vise you can actually uh, use these to bolt on the sides and thus you'll have your um, the peripheral side of the of the vise unencumbered and then here's the vise now interestingly this one did get a little bit more beat up my uh, the other one I opened was in perfect condition um, let's get the vise out of here and, and take a look. Like most things that go come across the pond, these are coated in a um, type of grease which you need to take off with uh, usually WD-40 works and looks like the mill is just or the vise is just fine. The packaging and the cardboard was a little dinged up. The, um, they ship with vice keys on the bottom, which I'm not going to use right now, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Let me get this cleaned up real quick and we'll take... All right, here they are. Uh, they're not bolted down, just wanted to put them on the table so you can get an idea for size. Um, and then I wanted to point out a few other um, features which may be obvious, might not be. Um, the first is that these have a solid rear jaw. 
Most devices you'll see um, this piece here is separate and there's a key piece of key stock in here which holds it together. So this will be less flex. Um, standard uh, replaceable jaws here. Uh, one of the things I plan on doing is using soft jaws for a lot of projects, so more to come on that. Um, and then the most distinguished feature is just the fact that the um, three sides are um, ground flat uh, to, uh, and I don't remember the tolerances, but flat, very flat, um, which allows you to do some pretty cool things, whether it has to do with the setup, using dowel pins, putting the two vices close to each other, um, turning them up on their side, etc. So I like that feature a lot. That compares with with this type of vise. This happens to be a cheapo from Enco, uh, but Glassern and Kurt and others make this style of vise where um, your perimeter peripheral edge is not a precision component, so you'd have to dial it in um, every time you remounted it. And speaking of that subject of, of dialing in the vise and, and remounting it, um, the reason I bought two is um, it can be really helpful for the reasons I previously mentioned as well as spanning two parts across it. Um, but I also know I have some specific projects where uh, having two identical vices is going to be really helpful. Um, and I am also working on something where, which I'm excited to share when it comes to fruition, which is basically a large fixture plate that will be for all intents and purposes permanently mounted to the table um, and I haven't figured out what the best way will be just yet whether it's keys or pins or, or subplates but we'll be mounting both of those vices to that fixture plate such that I can hopefully pull them off and put them on one or both of them and retain accuracy that'll help me stay efficient switch between fixtures and vices and such um, so as to maximize how much time I can spend making chips all right, last thing I wanted to do on this chapter is just show everybody some dimensions. Seeing them on paper is fine, but I think seeing them in person is even better. So the Tormach table is 34 inches wide. I have about 18 inches of actual X travel. This vise, the jaw width is 6 inches. Not surprising, it's a 6 inch vise. Um, the max opening in this position is just a hair under 6.5 inches. But you can obviously move the vice jaws from their current position to either this uh, back side or this far side here. And uh, let's see here. They come off the mill. These are just rough estimates here. Looks like it's about three and a quarter to the bottom of the vice and about five inches or so to the top of the jaw. So hopefully that helps. Um, I will be back with more when I have got more figured out on my fixture plates. That's all for now, folks. Thanks.